friends, I hope you're having a spooky day. I'm having one myself. Today is not only spooky, but it will also be delicious. Today I will be reviewing a macaron delivery service called Macaron. I'll put their logo up over here. I have tried these once before, but I was so excited to see that they released a special edition Halloween macaron collection. Not only do I get to bring you information on a delicious delivery service, but I get to eat some tasty treats, so it's a win-win. I think a service like this that delivers something as specific and unique as macarons would be really helpful to the Lolita community right now. Since we're not able to go out and have tea parties with our comms and restaurants or cafes, why not do a virtual tea party in your own home and have some delicious macarons delivered right to your door? So in the Halloween pack that I I got, it contains two pink starburst, two butterfinger, two snickers, two pumpkin spice, two caramel apple, and two galaxy macarons. I'll only be eating one of each today. I'll probably share the others with my husband if he's lucky. And I do of course have a nice cup of tea with me here to try with the macarons. This is the Caramel Apple Dream from Celestial Seasonings that I tried in my tea tasting video with May. I'll go ahead and link that up above for you guys. Well that's enough rambling for me, let's go ahead and get to the tasting. So the first macaron I have here is the Pink Starburst flavor. I'll give you a little close up of this guy looks yummy. It's got that nice classic macaron texture going on. The color is really bright and cute. It is exactly like a pink Starburst, and pink are my favorite flavor Starburst, so I'm excited to try this one. Mm. So you can see the filling is a little bit lighter color. The filling is really close to the actual Starburst itself in color. And the cookie of the macaron is a lot like the color of the wrapper, so I think that's really cute and clever. The texture is perfect, the outside has that nice crunch, and the inside is nice and chewy. This next one is gonna be the Caramel Apple. It's this beautiful green color, and it does have some really pretty details on the top. It's got some like metallic gold freckling, and when I turn it to the side, you can see the green filling, and this in here is, it looks like caramel, so it looks like this has like a two-part filling. How exciting. All right, I'm gonna get a bite right on that caramel. Let's do it. Mmm. Mmm! Wow, that flavor is so spot on. You get the tartness of the green apple and the caramel in there really brings in that like underlying sweetness and creaminess. Wow, this is really good. Again, the texture is perfect, crunchy outside with the chewy filling. And considering these were refrigerated and shipped to me, I'm really surprised that the texture is so good but they really nailed it. So next on my plate, it looks like we have the pumpkin spice. It's this pretty orange color. And again, this guy does also have that gold metallic detail on the top, but this one is more of a splatter effect. And turn to the side, it's got like a brown classic pumpkin spice color filling. Now pumpkin spice is a classic, of course, for fall, so I'm really excited to try this one. I mean, you'd think I wouldn't be shocked that it tastes like a pumpkin pie, considering the flavor is pumpkin pie, but it tastes just like my grandma's pumpkin pie. That's crazy. Now the texture on this one is a little bit off. It's not bad, but the outside is a little less crunchy than the other ones. It's a little more soft, but considering it's supposed to be like pumpkin pie, I kind of like that it's a little softer because you get more of the filling. And when I think of pumpkin pie, it's very filling heavy. So I don't mind that the texture is a little bit different. All right, next in line to be tried is the Snickers Macaron. So this one is just a nice chocolatey brown color. There are no additional details on this guy. The filling looks really thick, which I'm excited about. I love chocolate, and I'm always excited to see a Snickers in my Halloween trick-or-treat bag because I do still go trick-or-treating. With a face like mine, you can parade around as a 12-year-old and no one asks questions. All right, let's try this guy. Mmm! Mmm. Oh yeah, that chocolate hits the spot. There's also a filling in this. It looks like they might have put actual, like, Snickers pieces in here, or maybe 
it's like a peanut nougat. I don't know, but it's really delicious. The texture of this one is that of a classic macaron. Crunchy outside, chewy inside. The filling is really thick on this one. I don't know if that's the same across the board for the Snickers flavor, but I'm a fan. Moving on to number five. This is going to be another candy bar flavored macaron. This is going to be Butterfinger. It's this orange color that looks like the filling of a Butterfinger. And again, the top of this does have some additional little details, maybe some cocoa powder sprinkled on the top. And the middle has this like light creamy color. Now I love Butterfinger, but the texture of those things just gets stuck in my teeth which is a love-hate relationship. I hate the feeling, but I love getting to pick out the crumbles in my teeth for a few hours after I eat it. Gross, but honest. I know you do it too. Yes, I'm looking at you. Judging me. So I'm very excited to try this one for the flavor of Butterfinger without the gross feeling in my teeth. Mm. Okay. The taste is perfect, but somehow they've managed to make the filling even more buttery than that of an actual Butterfinger. That's the first taste that hits me immediately. It's delicious. Love butter. Texture's perfect. Taste is perfect. I could eat about 10 of these. God, I've made it through almost all of my macarons without some tea. I am parched. Oh, God, that's so good warms a witch's heart. All right, that's enough of a break. Back to the hard work of tasting these desserts. This is the final macaron. I was saving the best for last. This macaron is beautiful. <coughs> this macaron is beautiful. So this is the galaxy macaron. It has this beautiful swirled marbled purple color and the top and the bottom have these adorable little golden star sprinkles and the inside has this deep purple color. Now, if I'm not mistaken, these have Milky Way candy bars in them or that's the flavor. I didn't look too much into it because I kind of wanted to be surprised with this one, so I'm about to find out. I feel so bad biting into this. It's like a little work of art. Definitely a Milky Way. Something I also really love about the way that they make these is that usually things that have this dark of a food coloring in them taste kind of off. The food coloring does not affect the taste of this whatsoever, so I'm very impressed with that. Or maybe the food coloring I've tasted before is just really low quality. Hmm. Well, that was extremely delicious. I have to say this is probably my favorite video I've made so far. I'll definitely have to make more of these. But first I'd like to share my overall thoughts on this service. Now a 12 pack of these macarons where you get two of each flavor is $24.99. Some might say $24.99 for some cookies is a bit much, but these macarons are really high quality. I'd like to think I've had quite a few macarons in my days as a Lolita, and these are really good. The flavors are very rich, the colors are very striking, they're very well decorated. This is the first time I've seen macarons that are different than just a solid color on the outside. I think the flavors are also really interesting as well. Most of the time if you'll go for high tea or at a bakery, you'll see your raspberry, your pistachio, your matcha, but never have I seen a Milky Way flavored macaron? Come on! It's got stars on it! So for the quality combined with the flavors and the overall appearance and packaging, I think $24.99 is a great price for these. I would definitely continue to pay that, and I probably will considering I wanna keep making these videos. So overall, I would really recommend this service to you. I had a lot of fun doing this video and eating these delicious macarons. If you'd like to see more of these, although I'll probably do them anyway, please give me a like and a comment below. Maybe let me know which flavor you would like to try most. Anyway guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. And I'm releasing this video on Halloween, so happy Halloween or Samhain if you celebrate. I'll be celebrating later tonight. So go have a fun and extra spooky Halloween for me, and I'll see you next time. Bye!